Now time's running out to save 300 precious reels of film that show everyday life in the city of York over the last century. The Yorkshire Film Archive says it needs to carry out vital preservation work or the moving images could be lost forever. But the work could cost around £10,000, so a fundraising campaign's been launched. Ian White's been taking a look at the treasured footage. This is a fantastic film from 1970 called The Queen of English Cities. Uh, a promotional film for the city of York. Just one of 300 reels of film showing what life used to be like in York. They're lovingly cared for at the Yorkshire Film Archive, which is based in the city. The Queen of English Cities. That is what the traveller, John Leyland, called her when he wrote of York in the 16th century. And today, if he stood again on Lendl Bridge, he would have no difficulty in recognising her. These films are precious and time is running out to preserve and digitise them. Celluloid can be fragile, um, videotapes can be fragile. So yeah, we want to preserve these frames of film because they capture our social history, they capture who we are, where we're from. It's about people and place and identity. It's about what we wore, it's about where we spent our leisure time. It's about how we went to work and how we played, how we went to school. It's really important film heritage. One of my favourites is a relatively new one we've had digitised. It's called the Assizes, and it follows some of the judges leaving the judges' lodgings on their way to the um, prison where Clifford's Tower is now. But the prison walls are epic. They are huge, so they go on their horse and carriage, and they go under the prison gates, and all that has gone. They transform that area of the city. And if we weren't doing that job to look after that, people wouldn't have known what that would look like. The Yorkshire Film Archive is a charity which was born out of a photo project 30 years ago. It's now home to 50,000 films telling the story of the whole region. But keeping them in a watchable condition is an expensive job, so a fundraising campaign has been launched. This is our heritage, so once it's gone, it's gone. If we can find it, if we can preserve it, and if we can keep sharing it with people and bringing people all the enjoyment that that brings, let's keep doing it. Whether it's the Singing Ladies on the Round Trees production line or people cycling and skating on a frozen river ooze, it would be terrible if this footage was lost. Ian White, BBC Look North, York. Mm, they are very Moorish, aren't they, those shots? Mm. I don't